Okay, so it's pretty straightforward this one. It's really just designed for impact only. There's no rotary hammer feature where it actually drills. It's just straight chiseling or straight braking, which is good because with that in mind, it packs more of a punch than your standard rotary hammer. Now, it comes with uh, variable speed. You've got the adjustment up here. It also comes with your on-off switch on the handle. Um, pretty easy to use, pull back chuck on the top. And then other than that, you've got your uh, power switch at the back, which will indicate if the power's on, the power light, sorry. And you've also got another light here at the back, which uh, indicates when it's time to change your carbon brushes on the machine. Uh, other than that, it's really just comes with your um, anti-vibration technology. So they've built into this, um, you know, clutches and gears and everything else so that when you're using the machine, it doesn't vibrate so much on your handles, on your hands. And you can see here on the, on the actual handle itself, you've got a bit of movement. So that also helps with uh, controlling the vibration. All right, so let's have a look at how it works in action. Okay, so it's continuous power. Once you turn it on, it's running. It's not like you're pulling the trigger. And you can hear the variable speeds as you turn that up and down. I'll just show you that again. So this is on at the lowest speed, and then I'll wind it up. Quite quiet. That's the highest speed. So when the power's on, you'll get the green light indicator at the back. That's what that uh, power button's for. Let's see how it works. Okay, so there you go, you've seen it in action. Um, now I'll just use it to take the top of that chase out there just to show you on video now it's um it's pretty good it's really the motor's really slow really quiet but it does pack a punch and what i've noticed is as you're actually using it and you apply more pressure the motor ramps up so it actually kicks up a gear so it's pretty intelligent that it does that that it actually knows when you're using the machine and just gives it that little bit more power so yeah i'll keep going with it and see how it goes and then i'll uh, let you know how i think it performed all right so i'll test this out on the high speed first up on the five and then I'll drop it down maybe halfway to the two and a half, and then we'll see how low it goes on, say, about a one. All right, so there you go, that was on the five. Now I'll try it on, say, about a two and a half. Okay, so that was on the two and a half. Now I'm going to wind it back down to uh, the lower setting of the one. We'll see how that goes. So that was on the very lowest setting on the one, and that was fantastic. Just nice and soft and delicate, and I could see that it come in really handy for if you're doing a bathroom demolition, and uh, a lot of the time you might have these old lime mortar bricks where you've got a tile stuck over the face of it, and sometimes the glue or the tile's harder than what the actually bricks are, and if you go at it, sometimes you can actually even damage the brick behind it. So just this set on that nice little delicate setting and just tapping away at it, just working away would actually work really good for a detailed uh, demolition job. So there you go, yeah. All in all, um, a great little tool. Uh, like I said, it's only designed for hammering only, so I think they've really put a lot of effort into making sure that it's really good at that. You'll hear the machine kick in, like I demonstrated a couple of times. Once it gets a little bit of power, it's nice and quiet working away. If you put that extra bit of uh, pressure on it, then it actually kicks up a gear and you'll feel the power kick in. So it's a handy little feature. So uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put the link in the um, comments box below. You can have a look at the actual manufacturer's details on how this uh, anti-vibration technology works and see a little bit more uh, detail about the actual drill itself. 
But all in all, great little tool. Give it a go.